the questions asked are actually really what I hope people kind of think about when they're looking at art. I think what art does for a lot of people is it helps them kind of take a, a breath from their chaotic life. There's kind of two purposes of art, in my opinion. One is what the artist has to say, but more importantly, it's what the, what the viewer interprets from that, and you know, what it says to the viewer at the end of the day. The Kirkland Cultural Arts Commission selected creative duo Jake DeCoy Wagner and Mike Lucero for the first community mural project on the Cross Kirkland Corridor. The mural is located underneath the 85th Street Bridge, right near the trail's first piece of permanent art, The Spikes by Mary Lee Dix. Many people riding and walking and biking on the trail will be inspired by not only this piece, but by Mary Lee's piece as well and more pieces to come. Well, you know, thankfully, um, we had two really inspired people to sit down and talk to. Um, they really had such a clear vision for what they wanted to do um, really long before we had any vision. <laughs> they sat down and had a very good idea, and we saw some of their work and fell in love with it right away. And we knew that we had the perfect place for it to, to rest. We both had the same vision, wanted to paint the wall. Then the call came out, and it was kind of just a sign that we needed to do it. And both my, Mike and I worked on the overall idea, kind of big picture of that, and then I just dived into the design of it. It took two weeks to complete the project. During that time, the community was invited to make their own mark on the mural. Kind of the fun twist was we had to bring in a community piece. And we just kind of you know, riffed back and forth on some ideas and this notion of essentially crowdsourcing the, you know, some of the art from the people. I think it's wonderful. I think the best part is the community filling in all their uh, expressions of uh, loving Kirkland. It makes you think about the message that you put down more so. There's this really neat interaction when groups of people came up and came up with one set of words, how that came together and how they sort of produced their, their, their contribution. So for me that was like a thing that I wasn't expecting and that was, I thought was really special. A uh, little old lady, she was like, you know, probably in her 70s and she come, walks up to me and she kind of had this like demeanor that I thought she was going to say something that she didn't like it or why are you doing this and she comes up, she puts her hand on my shoulder and she's like, you are a true blessing. I was just like, oh, <laughs> wow, that's awesome. Both artists have lived in Kirkland and were inspired by the location's urban, tech and wild landscapes. It's very representative of what's actually on the trail. I'm up on the wall and I'm really just kind of, you know, for lack of better terms, throwing paint around. Um, and when I get off the lift, um, there's a couple things I'm doing is stepping back to see how it's going to look for me, for the picture that's going to be taken and how the viewer is going to see it. I'm happy and pleased with what I'm doing, so I just want to look at it myself. You know, and then I take pictures throughout the process and I'll go home and just stare at, you know, stare at the picture. I'm not a mastermind behind the scenes mixing all my colors. It's always just kind of organically happening at the wall. On average, I would say there's like five different colors within that one color from light to dark. It's a layering process of um, the amount that you use. When I walk away from the wall, I don't really check out. Like I'm still thinking about what I need to do next. It was really important them to be creating on a larger scale. And surprisingly, the larger you go, the more intimate the space feels. So as a viewer is coming through, it actually encompasses and brings them in and gets them more of a cozier feeling within the art. And it just creates a really wonderful, colorful, enriching space. Funding for the project was provided by For Culture an organization that supports the arts around King County. Every time they run by or walk by, they're gonna slow down and see their, I did that, you know? I see people doing it now, like they'll stop and I saw that they like wrote on it and they'll kind of point. Thank you. Um, yeah, I just wanted to thank everybody involved. Uh, everybody was. Okay. <laughs> that that wall's next. <laughs> I I did not tell him to say that. I promise. <laughs> I think I think Jake's son said it all. Yeah. Um, we'd love to have that wall done.
by them. <laughs> 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 that, might, that might be a project in the near future. That'd be great.